Hello, welcome back. This is Calculus by Dr. Oz. Today we're going to try to find indefinite integrals and each of, uh, each of them has a specific type. Uh, in fact, uh, the commonality between A, B, and C is that you have a difference or some of the squares. So we're going to sort of like try to use uh, the formulas. Uh, let me just show uh, what they are to you. So here we go. So these are the integrals involving inverse hyperbolic functions. Please stare at, at this part of the table uh, for, for the purpose of this exercise. So as you see that you have either uh, some or different squares in the bottom for each case, and each of uh, them provides you an ln type uh, uh, anti uh, derivative. So, uh, so in this video, uh, time to time, I'm going to refer back to uh, this table uh, to be able to handle uh, all three cases here. All right. So these are all the ingredients uh, of this video, hopefully. And and obviously, uh, time to time, uh, uh, I I will use u substitution. So u substitution is unavoidable whenever we talk about integrations uh, in in this uh, in this course. So please also uh, get ready for that. All right, let's get started. All right, let's start with part A. You have one over two uh, x uh, radical one minus four x squared. So uh, inside the radical, you have the difference of uh, squares. So let's first observe that. So I'm going to rewrite this integral as one over 2x, 1 squared minus 2x quantity squared, because 4x squared is 2x uh, quantity squared, okay? So, and then don't forget to put dx here, okay? So what I'm going to do is to call uh, u to be 2x, because I'm going to go back to this table, in fact, see uh, what kind of integral I have. I mean, I uh, used the... Uh, uh, I so like uh, wrote, rewrote this as a difference of squares in the bottom, but in fact, uh, we are relying on to uh, this table here that you have uh, you have uh, some version of d over uh, a squared minus uh, u squared. As you see, that the number here comes first, right? In the in the last formula, check this out uh, for the integration. Right, so you have u uh, in radical uh, a squared minus plus u squared. So we have this version here, first number and then the variable. So I think we're gonna make use of that this formula for uh, u equals two x. So to, to achieve that first, we have to have a u substitution to start with, u equals two x, and we are gonna look at du. That is two dx. Okay. So now I'm going to rewrite this in terms of the new uh, variable. Okay, so dx is uh, one half du, uh, so you have one over uh, one half du, and two x is already u, right? And then you have one squared minus u squared. Okay, this is pretty much one of the integrals over there that I showed you. But let's just pull out one half. So this is du divided by u. 1 squared minus u squared. Okay, so I'm going to go back and try to, so like use this formula for a equals 1, okay, uh, because I have 1 squared minus uh, u squared, so a equals 1, so it's uh, minus 1 over uh, 1, All right, minus 1 over 1, that's minus 1, ln, so let's go back here, minus ln, okay, and uh, a is 1, so 1 plus 1 minus u squared divided by absolute value of u. There we go. All right, at the top we have uh, 1 plus 1 minus u squared divided by absolute value of u plus c. I'm going to have the final shot here by uh, put, put, like back substituting u. Uh, in the final form, so you have minus ln, uh, let me just write that down here, 1 plus uh, minus ln, 1 plus uh, 1 minus uh, 4x squared divided by the absolute value of 2x plus c. Okay. And do not forget the 1 half, by the way. 
So I think I forgot the one half, so please carry that one half forward. So you had the one half here, right? If I was in class, probably some of you would have caught that, right? So uh, this would be minus one half. And then this would be uh, minus one half. Okay. <laughs> All right. This takes care of part A. Uh, please move on to uh, the next video to see what I'm going to do for part B. All right. Bye.